Let's have a quick look at the files that we are going to translate. You can work with any of these file formats. Log into Rian with your ID and password. To create a project, enter all the necessary details like project name, language pair, due date, project domain, fuzzy search threshold, machine translation access details, project specific glossaries and source files. Once you have created the project, you will be able to see all the relevant details regarding each file. Start by applying any project glossary, user memory or any imported project memory. This way, all 100% matches from glossaries and memories are incorporated in all the files. Open individual files to start manual translations. In the editor, the source file, irrespective of its type, is cut into segments and placed into the source column. Along with its formatting, you can see that there are no formatting tabs. As you begin translating, the suggestion tab is activated. Suggestions are picked from different sources like the project glossaries, the project memory, user memory with a percentage of fuzzy search threshold that was set while creating the project. Click here to see the suggestions from empty engines. Type in your translations or double click on the desired suggestion to accept it. The next column to the target shows the number of the times that a segment is repeated inside the file. Type in the translation and click on the cross next. By doing so, every occurrence of the repeated segment gets copied, taking in its source formatting. External links in the form of dictionary sites prove to be very handy for linguistic reference. For that, select the desired text and click on the external link of your choice. You will see that the text is automatically pasted in the source segment on that site. Make use of shortcut keys for frequent tasks and save time by reducing your mouse clicks. Rian enables you to share your file or parts of the current file with your team of translators, colleagues or friends. This person needs to be a registered user of Rian. Here the email IDs can be called from translators book maintained under your profile. Enter in the relevant details like the number of words or characters to be assigned, the due date, rate, instructions and select assign job. A log is maintained for it which has details of the job created and assigned along with current status. Activate the speech to text and text to speech facilities by going to the view tab. Use the speech to text facility using the voice recognition feature next to each segment to input your translation. Text to speech feature will help you listen to a segment before translating. In case you are translating into languages like Russian, Arabic, Urdu, Japanese, Chinese or Indian languages that require specific keyboards to be installed. Rian offers you a phonetic typing facility for typing in your translation in those languages. You can also apply machine translation to the rest of the file and make the necessary changes by reviewing the machine translations. It is a good practice to review your translation with the quality assurance feature. There are multiple checks applied on a file or the entire project. Make the necessary changes accordingly for increased accuracy. Download the translated file from the file menu. It appears in the download directory of your computer. The file name is appended with the abbreviations of the translation pair 
alongside the original file name. You can compare the source and the target file to ensure the preservation of the exact format.